Good morning kids. How are you? I hope you all are doing well. Today in this video we are going to start unit 12 money. Money. We are very we are very well familiar with this term money. We use money in your in our daily life for everything. If we want to purchase anything, we need money. If we want to use any services, then again we need money, isn't it? So for dealings and transactions, we should have money. And also this topic you have studied in your previous previous classes also. There what you have studied students, we have studied, we know that this is a symbol for rupee, isn't it? Rupee, we use this symbol, P for paise. And also we have studied that 1 rupee has 100 paise, okay? 1 rupee has 100 paise. In the same manner, 1 paise is equals to 1 upon 100 rupee. Okay, students, in your earlier classes, you know, you have studied about conversion of rupees into paise and paise into rupees also. Now, in fifth standard, what is new? What new you are going to study in this chapter? Students, in this fifth standard and in the uh, money chapter, now you will be working with transactions. What do you mean by transaction? When you buy or purchase something, that is known as transaction. Okay, we will be studying about profit and loss. But before profit and loss, the main thing that we are going to study today or we are going to cover today is unitary method. What students? Unitary method. This is the first main topic that you are going to study under money chapter. See students, what is written? See, see this four letters. What is written? Unit. Unit means one students. Okay. Unit means only one unitary method it means or we use this method to find the value of a single unit students why we use unitary method we use unitary method to find the value of a single unit kisi ek cheez ka amount pata lagane ke liye for finding the value for one unit we use unitary method but why we will find the value of one unit because after finding the value of one unit we can find the value for multiple unit students single unit means only one multiple unit means both sare units okay students this i'll explain you with one example then it will be very clear to you look here students what is given to us here cost of a pen is given to us okay one pen cost rupees five one pen how much amount you have to pay for buying one pen five rupee now if i want to purchase four pens students how many pens i want to purchase i want to purchase four pens then how much money i have to give to the shopkeeper students what to do how to find out look i have the amount of a single unit what is unit here what is the quantity here here the quantity or the item is pen a means only one cost of a pen a pen means only one pen i know that one pen cost rupees five means i know the value of single unit single pen cost rupees five now by using unitary method i can find out the value of any number of pens here i have to find the value of four pens let us see how write the value of one pen which is equal to rupees five then multiply with the necessary item how many for how many pens you want to find the value for four pens so rupees five into four how much students five fours are 20 see now i can say that i have to pay rupees 20 for purchasing four pens this is only the unitary method that only i explained you in unitary method we have to find the value for single item and then we can find the value for multiple items by multiplying okay students uh, one more example i'll give you it will be the reverse of this reverse of this means here you are given with the cost of one pen isn't it and then we have found the cost of four pens now the reverse situation let us see this example here what is given to us here the information is 10 apples cost rupees 250 10 apples cost rupees 250 means you are given the you are given with the cost of 10 apples but not a single apple humko ek apple kitne ka hai malum hai but we know that 10 apple cost rupees 250 so now the question is find the cost of only one apple okay you have to find the cost of single apple the price of multiple items is given to us okay and we are asked to find the cost of single item if this is the situation students then we have to divide always remember if you are having the cost of single item and you have to find the cost for multiple items you have to always multiply but if you are having the cost of multiple items and you have to find the cost 
cost of one item then you have to divide now i can write it as rupees 250 that means total cost divided by item that is 10 so on dividing 250 with 10 students i'll get 25 so rupees 25 is the cost of one item understood student one apple cost rupees 25 so this is the unitary method here in uh, Money chapter, the first exercise, we are going to use this method only. So, understanding this is very important, okay. If you want, you can note this example so that um, if you are confused, you can just go through it and make this clear. Note it down, then we'll start the exercise. So, let us start the first exercise, students. Page number 176, exercise 1. So, question number 1 is... 5 meter of ribbon cost rupees 15. What is the cost of 1 meter of ribbon? So students, what I just explained you, when you are given with the uh, value of single unit, then you have to find the value for multiple units or if the value for multiple units is given and you have to find the value for single unit, we are going to use unitary method. So what is the condition here? Here we are given that cost of 5 meter of ribbon is rupees 15 means the cost for multiple items is given to us and we have to find the cost for single item so cost of 1 meter of ribbon 1 meter for 1 meter of ribbon how much is the cost that you have to find out so students here we are going to divide i'll divide rupees 15 with 5 isn't it now you can cancel you have studied fraction now you know how to cancel it 5 ones are 5 5 threes are 15 so on cancelling this I got to know that 1 meter of ribbon cost rupees 3. Okay. Let us see the second question. Such easy questions are only there for unitary method students. Question number 2. The cost of 12 toys is rupees 1728. Let us write the steps also. So, cost of 12 toys is rupees 1728. Okay. Then, cost of, uh, what is the cost of 1 toy? So students, if 12 toy cost rupees 1,728, 1, that means cost of multiple toys is given to you. You have to find the cost of single toy. That Then again, we have to divide. So rupees 1,728 divided by 12. Okay. So let us divide and let us write the answer. So 12 ones are 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 52 left. So 12 fours are 48. 49, 50, 50 and 52 again 4 left 48 so yeah I got rupees 144 as the cost of one toy and if you want to purchase 12 toys you can multiply 144 into 12 you are going to get rupees 1728 okay students question number 3 we are going to see 7 pen cost rupees 84 find the cost of one pen no problem students cost of 7 pens is rupees 84 okay then we have to find the cost of one pen so again divide rupees 84 by 7 on dividing we'll get eight uh, seven ones are seven one left one four fourteen seven twos are fourteen so one pen cost rupees 12 seven pen cost rupees 84 okay fourth question students if the cost of 10 notebooks is rupees 205 what is the cost of one notebook let us see so cost of 10 notebooks is equals to rupees 205 then how to find the cost of one notebook divide or multiply yes here again we are going to divide so rupees 205 divided by 10 okay students so we are going to get on dividing we'll get you have studied decimal chapter na so on dividing you are going to get rupees 20.5 one notebook cost rupees 20.5 okay students uh, question number fifth again same pattern question fifth question will be your homework note it down then we'll start question number sixth so students question number sixth the cost of two pencil boxes is rupees 64. So again here the cost of multiple item that is two pencil boxes given to us that is rupees 64. Then what is the cost of eight such pencil boxes? Students here the cost of multiple pencil boxes is given to us. Multiple means more than one. Okay suppose it is two or more than two. So here it is two pencil box cost rupees 64. Then directly you are asked to find the cost of eight such pencil boxes. Okay. For two pencil box, cost is rupees 64. So, cost of two pencil boxes is rupees 64. Then you are asked to find the cost of eight pencil boxes. Students, 
it is not possible directly to find the cost of eight such pencil boxes if such is the condition then we what we have to do we have to first find the cost of one item okay so cost of one pencil box will be rupees 64 divided by 2 isn't it so the amount will be on dividing 64 with 2 will get rupees 32 now students we know that two pencil box rupees 64 one pencil box rupees 32 now we can easily find the cost of eight such pencil boxes how you know the cost of one pencil box now which is equals to rupees 32 then multiply it with eight so the final amount will be 8 twos are 16 then 8 threes are 24 uh, 8 twos are 16 8 threes are 24 25 rupees 256 so students like this you can find the cost of multiple items when again the cost of more than one item was given to us we were asked to find the cost of multiple items but before it we have to find the cost of one item first okay so let us see question number seven students the cost of 20 oranges is rupees 140 so cost of 20 oranges is rupees 140 okay fine then what is the cost of 8 oranges so students directly i can't find the value of 8 oranges why because here the cost of one orange is not given to us but the cost of 20 oranges given so for that we have to find the cost of one orange first so again rupees 140 divided by 20 on cancelling will get 00, zero cancelled 2 sevens are 14 rupees 7 students now cost of 8 oranges will be cost of 1 orange which is 7 multiply with 8 oranges so 7 8s are 56 so rupees 56 is the cost for 8 oranges <clears throat> okay let us see question number 8 Ritu bought a lace at the rate of rupees 15 per meter. Underline the word per students. P E R per. Per means one. Always remember per means one. So here it is given. Ritu bought a lace at the rate of rupees 15 per meter. Per meter means one meter. So that's why my first step is cost of one meter of lace or per meter of lace is rupees 15. Okay. Then what we have to do? What is the cost of 8 meters of lace? So now you are going to find out the cost of 8 meters of lace. It's very easy as the cost of 1 meter of lace was given. We have to find the cost of 8 meters of lace. So simply multiply. Okay, so the final answer will be <coughs> 15 eights are how much students? 120. Okay, so 8 meters of lace cost rupees 120. Okay, now again ninth question will be your homework, same pattern question. Tenth question we are going to do here. Let us see students. A group of children went to a zoo. They paid rupees 75 for the entrance ticket. Okay, then how much money did each child pay if there are 15 children in that group? Okay, fine. So let us see total money paid is rupees 75. Okay, then number of children in the group 15. Now, let me explain you the question, what is given in that. Students, the question is very simple. Here it is saying that there is a group of children who have paid rupees 75. Okay, you have to, for entrance ticket. Now, you have to find out how much each child has to pay for his ticket. So, what we have done, we have written the total money paid by the students. How many, how many children are there in total? 15 children are there. So, the, these 15 children have paid rupees 75. You have to find out money paid by each child or how much one child pay as entrance ticket. So, to find the value for one item, again you are going to divide. So, rupees 75 divided by 15. How much? 15 fives are 75. How easily we have solved this also. Understood students. So, this was your first exercise for money chapter. Here we have used unitary method. Okay, students. Now, one more thing. Uh, in page number 174, you can see one heading is given. Let's recall. Three questions are there. Again, this is your work. Here, just the revision of whatever you have studied about money in your earlier classes is given. So, it's your work. You can solve this question by yourself. And in the next class, we are going to begin with exercise 2. That's all for today, students. Thank you.